No, this is an ultrasound study of uh, cirrhotic liver with glenomegaly and ascites. This is the limb. Quick ultrasound study. Now, if I measure the liver, as uh, everyone is doing over here, which is the routine of the day, order of the day, then the liver measures. The liver is shows general reduced uh, total surface area, measuring uh, 12.1, and you know that the lim uh, dimensions, normal dimensions of the liver are from 12 to 16 uh, centimeters. So, is this liver really showing generalized decreased uh, parenchyma, uh, uh, generalized reduced total surface area, or? Is it with a normal dimension because we, we are seeing that if we use 12.1 by this current, by this uh, scanning plane. Now this is the kidney, right kidney, and this is all fluid surrounding the outer surface of the liver. So this is one way of uh, measuring that is uh, common in common practice. Now the other is uh, the other way which is applied, employed is this one. Take a subcostal view and then try to make it. Now if this if we if we measure the level in this from the mid clavicular nine then from subcostal region the measurement is twelve point eight again with a normal whereas it appears to be uh, showing generalized reduced total surface area. So, wait a minute. Now, this this is another method. Now, the third one which is used is uh, that you place the probe in the epigastric region, try to get all of the uh, whole of the uh, liver, and now measure it. Now, in this case, it measures 22.5 centimeters. So exceeding 16 centimeters means that it, it, this uh, liver is enlarged 4.5 centimeters. So I disagree with this method of measuring the liver. What I say is that, I mean, let's say if someone has to donate the liver or liver transplantation is due, then, then what will the measurement do? It has nothing to do with uh, your centimeter or millimeter measurement. And uh, as I have said repeatedly that liver can be measured in centimeters or millimeters with uh, a mode method and not with a 2D real mode method. So now what I will report it as is that the liver shows general, right above the liver shows generalized reduced total surface area whereas the left lobe of the liver is uh, enlarged mildly. Why enlarged? Because you will see it is crossing the region of superior mesenteric artery from the aorta. Let me get you. And even if it is not, you don't see the liver enlarged after this segment, this part, then This is the uh, portal vein, patent, normal caliber, and uh, now one thing is left. Yes, excuse me for that. And that is, what is the? If you are giving the dimension of the uh, right and left lobe, what about the caudate lobe? That is also part of the liver, and. Uh, the caudate lobe in this case, in this patient, you will see is of normal dimension. Now this is the caudate lobe, this is the ligamentum venosa, this is the IC and this is the caudate lobe. 
again now longitudinal section ligament luminosum IVC and coil flow and uh, you can see that the uh, liver is in the this left lobe of the liver shows enlargement as it is exceeding the region of superior mesentery cartilage from the aorta as this is the no this is the superior mesentery cartilage arising from the aorta this is the aorta and uh, it exceeds the origin. Now you can see that uh, the left lobe of the liver is exceeding the origin of superior mesentery cartilage from the aorta. So what I will uh, write is that uh, the rate is or uh, like to report is <coughs> that the right lobe of the liver shows generalized reduced surface area and whereas the left lobe of the liver is enlarged with normal corded lobe of the liver because at times we do see hyperplasia of the corded lobe so not in this case now you can see in this in this view it is evident to you again I don't you can see by the image that uh, the right lobe is smaller in size so this is uh, my method, means Dr. Thor's sleekiest method of uh, reporting the river dimension and it should be used and accepted. Thank